Besides being the coldest country in the world, Canada is the land of many other mysteries. From the huge mythical monsters and unbelievable creatures, to the most incredible and heart-pounding discoveries, here are the most surprising discoveries of Canada that shocked the whole world. Monstrous Seaweed Dozens of stunned swimmers, as moving towards them with the high ocean waves, was something really creepy. Isn't that strange? This bizarre image that shows some giant sea monsters with huge tentacles swimming along the waves was posted seven years back by a Reddit user and left everyone searching about the mysterious sea monster. But the story behind this strange image is very simple. These emerging creatures are nothing but underwater seaweeds that can grow up to 147 feet in length. But since they couldn't cope with an intense increase in temperature, they die and are brought to the shore by high water currents and appear as some kind of sea monster due to their giant blade-like leaves. Shark on Rod and Reel Well, the title might confuse you, but believe me, this unbelievable kind of capture has become a highly controversial topic since 1986, as it holds the record of the largest shark ever caught by Rod and Reel almost four decades back, Two Canadian fishermen grabbed the attention of the fishing community after they claimed to have captured a 3,427-pound white shark by using just a reel and a rod. Although it was claimed they might have killed the shark with a spear before capturing it, according to the pair, the shark was feeding on a dead whale with other great whites while it got tangled in the reel and died after it was dragged in. Dead Blue Whale on Beach Tucked inside the corner of the Trout River is a huge, balloon-shaped carcass of a massive dead blue whale that washed up on a Canadian beach in May 2014. The estimated 82-foot-long giant dead blue whale became a center of concern for the locals, as the gigantic balloon bloated with methane gas caused by decomposition was emitting a foul odor and was about to burst near the waterfront. The whale was believed to be one of a group of endangered blue whales that ended up in heavy ice off Newfoundland's west coast, entered the river, and now was on the verge of explosion. Wood Frogs Canada is no doubt the land of many wonderful creatures, and one of them is this wood frog that has stunned the scientific community with its unique technique to hibernate. It is unable to travel long distances to escape Canada's winter, so it turns itself into an ice cube. It does this by freezing 70% of its body, and also stops its heartbeat and breathing, and literally becomes a frogsicle. Due to this suspended state, it is often dubbed the living dead by biologists. Yet this kind of extreme adaptation is not harmful to this amphibian, as it comes back to life with summer and this hibernation cycle continues again next winter. Living Dinosaur A 600-pound sturgeon living in the waters of British Columbia made headlines after it was caught by two fishermen last year in March. At first, they thought it was some kind of river crocodile, but when it was pulled out, they were shocked at the monstrous figure of the animal. And then, they discovered that it was actually a huge sturgeon that was nicknamed the Living Dinosaur, as it dates back to the Jurassic era. This 10-foot-long trawl was believed to live for more than a century, and it was probably for the first time a huge sturgeon was caught on camera. Bigfoot Two years back in June, while exploring the woods near Crescent Falls, Alberta, a man was shocked to find a mysterious shelter made from limbs in the middle of the forest. Surprisingly, this place was already famous for an unknown giant beast that mostly fed on the carcass of other large animals. To investigate the animal, he decided to set the trail on a nearby tree, and after retrieving the footage of the last seven days, he was stunned to see a large, hairy biped figure that was spotted roaming near the shelter at night and day as well. Although it was convincing footage of the Bigfoot's existence, there are many who think that it could be a large bear. Largest Snake Gathering Millions of creepy serpents crawling over each other. 
a gateway to hell, or just a scene from a horror movie? Well, neither of them, as this huge gathering of countless snakes occurred in Narcisse snake dens in Manitoba, which is actually a shelter of these crawling creatures, especially during winter. This place becomes the largest known concentration of red-sided garter snakes. Each year, millions of snakes gather here to live and mate, and they disperse into the nearby swamps in summer. Fortunately, these snakes are non-venomous, due to which this place has become a famous tourist attraction for curious adventurers. Dolphins Trapped in Ice In February 2009, a heartbreaking moment was captured in Canada, when a group of 11 white-beaked dolphins was found trapped in a thick ice pack on Newfoundland Island. Stuck inside the thick ice layer, the distressed dolphins started asking for help by making out heart-tugging noises, which alerted the locals who banded together with rescue teams to free the dolphins trapped due to the terribly cold weather. Using a tarpaulin stretcher, they were able to release dolphins into the ice-free inlet. But unfortunately, they could only manage to protect five of them, as the rest of the mammals couldn't survive. The survivors were relocated to a small bay nearby. Bigfoot Skull There have been many stories of Bigfoot sightings, but this is for the first time a man from Canada has claimed to find a Bigfoot skull. While exploring the thick trunks of British Columbia last year in July, a young YouTuber stumbled upon something really shocking. Partially buried inside the sticky mud alongside the river was a huge humanoid skull that was first thought to be the skull of a big bear. But after studying it thoroughly, he changed his opinion and claimed it to be a remaining part of the mythical Bigfoot. Keeping his extraordinary discovery hidden for a long time, he has now shared the footage of his remarkable findings. Notosaur Mummy Seven years back in May, the Canadian miners accidentally stumbled upon something strange that later turned out to be the best-preserved fossil of its kind. The 18-foot-long specimen of Notosaur was found with well-preserved skin, armor, and even some of its guts were totally intact, although it was more than 110 million years old. With the visible patterns on its skin, the enormous four-legged fossil was estimated to be 3,000 pounds, and stunned the paleontologists as they were also able to tell about the type of its skin color. The perfectly preserved fossil of Notosaur has been dubbed the Mona Lisa of dinosaurs, and now is on display in the country's museum. Ogopogo Coiling its body in vertical undulations and propelling itself with its powerful tail, the rare sighting of the most scared creature of the deep was filmed back in May 2020 in Canada while it was spotted in Okanagan Lake in British Columbia. Ogopogo, the famous lake monster, has been mostly described as a 50-foot long dark-skinned serpentine whose tail goes to the ancient times when people were afraid of this powerful water monster and sacrificed small animals before their voyages. They believe that the Ogopogo assured the safe crossing of the lake as an exchange of life. Yet, if anyone refuses to do so, he would have to end up in the dark depths. Polar Bear Jail Now this is something literally mystifying. I mean, why would someone build a jail for innocent critters? But before you get further confused, let me reveal the truth behind this weird idea of jail. The so-called jail is actually a building in Canada that can hold up to 800 polar mammals in different enclosures. This is not any brutal act. In fact, it is the kind of facility for those animals to save them from turbulent hunting, and also because sometimes polar bears become a threat to human life in that area. After keeping them inside the enclosures for 30 days, they are tagged and released back to the wild via helicopter. Mysterious Spotted Lake Canada sits at the northern end of the world and has so many mysterious sites. One of them is this spotted lake in the eastern valley of Columbia. This pool changes color, which means it looks like a regular pool throughout winter and spring. Yet in summer, giant circles emerge on its surface. 
According to scientists, the sun's rays in summer beat down on the lake, and as soon as water starts evaporating, the giant circles start revealing the beautiful colors of yellow, blue, and green, which are actually the minerals and salts deposited at the bottom over centuries. Due to this unique property, this lake has been considered a sacred place for indigenous people. Big Lonely Doug Besides providing shelter to many unique creatures, Canada is also home to the tallest trunks of our world. Known as the second largest Douglas fir tree, the Big Lonely Doug was discovered in the tall tree capital of Vancouver Island. Standing at an astonishing height of 226 feet above the ground, with a massive trunk of 13 feet, this mammoth tree is believed to be more than a century old. However, it is unclear why the tree has been left alone in the middle of a clear-cut forest, as all of the surrounding old growths have been removed. Signpost Forest Warning signs, welcome signs, home directions, and even license plates. Randomly placed on the long poles are different signboards that reach here from all around the world. Deep in the woods of Yukon in Canada, is a strange place where you will find hundreds of mysterious signposts that date back to 1942, when a homesick soldier erected a signpost for his hometown while recovering from his injury, which was later followed by other people who started adding directions of their hometowns as well. Post after post, since that time, this pathway has become an exhibition of numerous signposts with many new panels constantly being added. Sour Toe Cocktail A shot of cold whiskey served with a human toe instead of an ice cube inside it. It might seem weird to you, but if you want to enter this club in Dawson City in Yukon, you must take at least one shot of this simple drink with an odd addition of a mummified human toe with your lips touching that bizarre part. According to the owner of this club, this well-preserved human toe belonged to a guy from the past whose toe was stuck in ice and was badly frozen, so his brother cut off his toe and preserved it in a jar filled with alcohol. A few years later, a man found this jar and decided to set up an exclusive club whose membership rules are still unchanged. Gopher Hole Museum Dozens of beady eyes dressed up like hunters, firefighters, cosmetologists, priests, and in different other situations. These adorable beings are actually the residents of the world's famous gopher museum in Alberta, where these 77 stuffed gophers are suspended in different scenes. A few decades back, when the locals were exhausted by the overpopulation of these naughty beings, a lady decided to stuff them and put them on display. Since that time, this place has become a famous tourist attraction, where these tiny beings can be seen entertaining visitors from behind the illuminated glass boxes. Hair Freezing Contest Cold nights, freezing winds, and a number of people swimming and dunking their heads in pools to get their hair iced. This crazy practice is actually part of the world's only frozen hairdo competition that is a challenge for both art and science and could bring 2,000 Canadian dollars to your wallet. Thousands of locals and tourists during the subarctic winters jump into the mineral-rich pools filled with hot water, and after getting their heads out, they quickly style them as hair starts freezing instantly due to dropping temperatures. Spikes or horns, because styling elegantly is the only way to win the prize. Frozen Bubbles Thousands of milky circles trapped beneath the thick, icy sheet. This lake, which looks like a piece of land from heavens, is actually the Abraham Lake in Canada, where the escaping methane bubbles get trapped as the temperature drops, which are actually produced by the bacteria at the bottom during decomposition activity which later turn into white floating blobs when come in contact with frozen water, giving onlookers an adorable view of winter jewels. Doll's Eye Plant Native to Eastern Canada is this adorable tiny plant, which is sometimes called doll's eyes due to its unique appearance. 
The plant became famous due to its white ball-like fruit with a deep purple dot at its top, which literally looks like a pupil, a perfect eyeball. The ball-like parts of this plant are actually the berries, which are supported on thick red pedicles, which turn bright red as the fruit grows. But unfortunately, despite its special looks, it is unedible for humans due to high toxins. However, birds and a few animals can consume it. Smoking Hills Located on the east coast of Cape Bathurst are these hellish cliffs, where people rarely set foot due to the toxicity of this land. Known as Smoking Hills, these high grounds have been burning and sending plumes of gas across the landscape for centuries, and were first discovered in 1826 by a European explorer. At first, the smoke was thought to be the result of volcanic activity, but later, it was revealed that the smoke coming out is due to the presence of high amounts of hydrocarbons, making this hill one of the seven wonders of the Northwest Territories. This image of a huge monster lying motionless on a beach was captured a few years back, when this terrifying carcass of a huge sperm whale washed ashore mysteriously. The elongated jaws with numerous pointed teeth of this deep-sea mammal attracted the beachgoers who quickly gathered around to take pictures of it. The authorities, after watching the increasing number of people around it, quickly seized the area, and the mammoth-sized carcass was removed to the research center. Initially, it was thought to have died of some kind of predatory attack, but they were not sure, so a deep analysis was planned to learn about the actual cause of death. Northern Lights Have you ever experienced this ethereal glow of the lights, which will literally give an idea of the immenseness of our universe? And you'll start feeling very small under the huge, blazed-up sky. Famous as the Northern Lights, this aurora season begins with the darkening lights of September, with the gravitational force of the sun pull on Earth's magnetic field, which causes the electrons to launch into the atmosphere by forming glowing rings around the North and South Poles. So, this blazing show of beautiful lights whirling through the sky can be observed in the areas around these two poles, and luckily, Canada is one of those places. Ice Hotel while talking about the wonders of Canada, I found it necessary to add the world's famous Hôtel de Glacy, a real winter wonderland in Canada. This is actually a building entirely made up of ice, which includes beautiful snow arches, crystal clear sculptures, playgrounds, water park, and even a 6,000 square foot spa. It also has some perfectly themed rooms, which allow its visitors to enjoy the artistically carved walls while wandering through the icy halls, some of which are lit up with lights. Those who can't go have a virtual tour of it, as this winter wonderland also offers an online tour. Red Rock Coulee Round reddish sandstone concretions up to 2.5 meters in diameter all scattering around this mysterious place in a haphazard fashion. A land from Mars? Or an unexplored area of our planet? Well, this otherworldly piece of land is actually a landscape of Canada, where these round pieces of rocks reflect orange and red glow when the sun is low. These stones were actually some prehistoric shells and plants that collected sediments and minerals from surrounding waters and grew in size. A few of the broken boulders even have growth layers on them. Meteorite crashed. There have been thousands of reported meteorite crashes that mostly hit the open ground. But this time, a meteorite decided to enter a house. This unbelievable incident happened two years back in Canada, when a senior citizen awoke at midnight due to her pet barking and was shocked to find the dry debris falling on her face. Moreover, she noticed a huge dark gray rock beside her pillow that definitely has entered her house from the fist-sized hole in her room ceiling. According to rescue teams, it was a piece from the nearby construction site, but after the rock was shifted to a research center, it was identified as a meteorite chunk that crossed our atmosphere that night. UFO Sightings
UFO sightings. Well, now that's a million dollar question, with some claiming it to be a myth, while for others, it's a reality. However, in Canada since 1950, people have been reporting the sightings of this most controversial flying object in the sky. Now, not just one or two, but more than 5,000 pieces of UFO sightings have been reported in Ontario and British Columbia. And in Alberta as well, locals have claimed to witness some unidentified flying objects in the sky that have created a panic among the locals, who asked the authorities to investigate these mysterious sightings. Who, even after deep research, are unable to provide satisfactory answers about these so-called UFO sightings. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like it and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again!